Danny Flexen here for seconds out with Commonwealth featherweight champion Lee Wood. Lee, you're fighting Ryan Doyle, obviously Friday night, in Nottingham. You're from uh, the suburbs of Nottingham yourself. How much does it mean to you to be chief support, or for a lot of people locally, probably the headline act, in your hometown or home city? I'm just, I'm just thankful to be fighting, fighting regularly in big fights again. After that moment of uh, staleness, you could say, and, and not getting the fights. I'm just grateful to be fighting and Commonwealth champion. Didn't feel as good winning it as I thought it was going to feel. A vacant belt, and um, I think this legitimizes it for me. And it makes it, I'm hoping it's going to feel a lot better and feel like I've earned it this, this, this time out against Ryan Doyle. And I've got an odd fight, but um, I'm feeling good. What does he bring to the table, and how much of an advantage, if at all, is it that your good friend and, and housemate Jordan Gill has fought him quite recently? Yeah, I don't think it's an advantage. You know, he might approach the fight different. Um, me and Jordan, we're, we're similar. We're both we're both boxers. We can both dig a bit, but um, we've got different mechanics, different styles. Um, I think it's going to pan out different. Um, I can watch I can watch all the footage I want of him, but the fight that's that's going to be with me and him is going to be different. So um, I've not really watched a lot of him. I know I know what he brings. He brings the same thing every time. So um, it's all about what I do. What's going to control the fight? Is it fair to say that although you're proud to win the Commonwealth title, your ambitions extend beyond this level? Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's not a stepping stone. That's a bit harsh. It's, it's a really good title, domestic title to have. But yeah, my ambition is uh, further past the, the Commonwealth title. But it's a great title to start with. But it's going to really push me into bigger, bigger and better fights. But I've got to, I've got to perform. I've got to beat a, a former champion in Ryan Doyle and look good as well. Who do you look to currently on the world scene or the European scene or wherever you're looking to aspire to that you think is somewhere you'd like to get? Who do you look at and think, yeah, I could beat him in a couple of fights? I'd like to mix it with the world champions. Um, you know, like Santa Cruz and, and Warrington. Um, I'm not sure if he's going to keep his belt or not. He's in an odd fight. But all them kind of kids, I can mix it with them. I know I can. I, and I can, I, I, I've done it in sparring and I'm fighting out at featherweight. I've not even been close to being beat at, at the right weight. And I know I've got a lot to give and... Uh, you're going to see it on Friday night and then you're going to come look back on these words I'm saying and you say, you know what, he was right. You obviously used to share a gym with Kid Galahad who challenges Warrington in June. Who do you fancy in that fight? I think it's going to be a close fight. Um, being in Leeds, I think he might have it up against him if he, goes to, if he goes to points. But I think Barry could do it. I think it's going to be a close fight, but I think he might nick it. Whether they give it him or not is a different story, but I think he could nick it. And if he does, obviously you're both promoted by Matchroom. He's um, not from the same area of the country as you, but you used to share a gym together. It's a fight that you think could be built up to be something quite big. Yeah, possibly. I mean, it's not um, it's not out of the picture totally. I mean, I'm a, I'm a few fights behind, maybe four or five, but um, it might hold on to it. If he, if he wins it, I think it'll, be t it'll take some beating. But yeah, it's a fight that could be made. Why not? And you talked about testing yourself at the highest level against the likes of Santa Cruz and so on. Is that how far away you feel you are from that, around four or five fights? I think I'm maybe four or five fights uh, on paper to, to get myself into that position, to earn that position. But right now, I'm ready to mix it. I'm ready to mix it now. So it's all about um, the promotional side of things and getting the fights and getting me into that, into that mix more of ability-wise. What's been the key to this kind of upturn in form for you recently? Has it mostly been about activity and just being out more often or is there more to it? I think it's down to Dave, um, having a good manager. That's what I've, I've had lacking. Um, the management side has let me down. I was in the gym a whole year training and not, not even boxed, not even on a small hole bill, just, just ticking over. And um, I think the management side really let me down. And now um, with Dave and obviously Eddie, I've got fights lined up. I can get that momentum that I've never had. And that's very important for a fighter to have. And just before we let you go, for people that aren't aware of you or have just become aware of you, just tell us how we can follow you on social media and so on. Yeah, Instagram, Twitter, I'm on everything, Facebook, Instagram, at It's Lee Wood. Um, same tag on Twitter as well. Um, Facebook, type my name in, I spell it like a girl, but you'll find me, you'll find me, yeah. It's Lee Wood, L-A-I-G-H, and um, follow the journey because there's some big fights to come. Brilliant, well, we wish you the best of luck, obviously, on Friday night. We look forward to watching it. Cheers, thanks, so.